In the story of Genesis, Adam and Eve, according to the Talmud and other sources, um, they spent seven years there before the fall. And the fall is clearly indicated as being about forbidden fruit, which is just a metaphor for the fact that originally it's about sex. Adam was basically God's Messiah. He was meant to be the king of the garden. And Eve was created from him and that she was his entire world, his complete sexual fantasy, body, mind and soul. And it's obvious when we look at the scriptures and TV and film that Adam wasn't all she wanted in the end because at the start of the fall because like in the princess diaries and myriad of the films you know she she ultimately had sex with the devil and when we say devil we don't know exactly what god that was but it probably as it says in the in the story it actually was a serpent which was like a humanoid type individual wasn't a snake to begin with but he was very beautiful and that's what it is when 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 it's all said and done, that's what it was. It was about sex. And this is ultimately why Adam is brought down in that he takes most of the blame. Because it's said that he just let it happen. He let this sexual contact happen. And ultimately, she took the tree of good and bad knowledge, which, according to many scholars and like the Rosicrucians, it is basically science. Um, the tree of science can be mapped out in that all the domains of science, which have actually been collated, can add up to basically a tree and even though Adam has fallen for science as well it's ultimately in these end times that women have gone completely in the west towards the left ultimately in a secular way even though it's mixed in with paganism because of this scientific dictatorship which is what everybody knows about in, new, in, in the Brave New World. Now, it doesn't mean that it isn't what's meant to be, as it were. Um, one can look at it in that Eve gives men every chance you can think of to be a perfect man to be the one that she wants to be him to be but his dysfunction is famous throughout history in the and is personified in films like you know american pie or believe it or not the cunningness and madness and stupidity, but ultimately the sacrifice in Blackadder. This is this is comedy. Uh, a typically Jewish story, but represents all of mankind. It is just hilarious when one one sees as a man what we are truly. And, and how 
Not every man is like that, in that some people are the seed of Cain, and just like the serpent in the garden, are every much the bad boy that a lot of girls look for. But Adam is, on average, the the nice guy. Um, so I'll do a video on Blackadder and how and the genesis of Blackadder and how one can see such as Blackadder goes forth, how Lord Flashheart is simply Flash, Flash Gordon, Hermes, and there's so much comedy within it, and Blackadder throughout the generations is just learning certain life lessons and he's mixing with real characters as it were um he he has he has a real problem and but he deals with it in the end like where we are now like the first world war black other goes forth in that he 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 sacrifices himself for others it, it it, it is real the way he cared for us all. Um, going back into the 2001 series where it's back and forth through time, one can see that just in the song lyrics, at the end, you see, he becomes prime minister, king actually, king of um, Great Britain. But it's actually free aim, but it's actually the world. And then um and all the lyrics like it's just hilarious, written by a Jewish man, Ben Elton and Richard Curtis, who does it time and time again, Richard Curtis. He did it in yesterday. He he alludes to this time loop, like with Kronos, with with his time film. Within yesterday, he does he does the connection to the Beatles, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, how, um, like within yesterday, you know, there's a girl, there's always this girl, and she loves him and he loves her, but he's not really able to be the person that he wants to be. And even though, um. Like in yesterday, he wrote all these songs. They weren't really his kind of thing. Like that's not a reality. That's a metaphor to how he's not exactly who he could be. He hasn't reached his full potential at all. And, um, you know, within Back and Forth and, and, and the Black Adder version, you've got all the things that you see throughout all these things you got robin hood from nottingham you know um which is robin goodfellow and then that's alluded to in the midsummer night's dream with puck 